Hey, this is Brianka. You are tuning into Life with Brianka. Uh, if this is your first time here, hey, hey, hey. If this is not your first time around the neck of the woods, I say welcome back. How you doing? Glad to see you here. If you can't tell, this is a very laid back video like I already said. I um, still had makeup on my face because I recently did a uh, pre-recording of another video that was amazing, okay? If you have not checked out the reconciliation separation relationship long suffering video check that out okay it's really good um so makeup still on i threw my hair up and i was like let me record another video and this one is not planned so i don't know what i'm gonna say um it's definitely not gonna be long and yeah, I got my Sharpie on that has avocados all over the place, but I do not like avocados and it gets hot. So I'm just going to give them shoulders. shoulders. Anyways, this video is about, this says birthday girl. Happy birthday. By the time you see this video, my birthday will be in a couple of days, June 23rd. Um. So yeah, recently... I say recently, not recently, a while ago when I first got back to the wave of YouTube um, in this year, 2023, one of the first things I mentioned was how during my hope deferred season, how when the new year came in, I was very much not happy that the new year was coming in. And after the new year came in, I had a conversation with my friend, one of my sisters in Christ, and we were just both like coming to the realization where you could tell that we were thinking about this on our own and we kind of just collided in conversation. But we both have this idea that January 1st is no longer the new year. Like it's the new year, but it's not my new year. I'm going to officially say that the new year now is going to be my birthday. Like that's really when the new year comes. Okay. When January 1 came in, I was only 30 for six months, okay? So it's not really a new year for me, but June 23rd is a complete year for me. So that's my new year. So I'm now just going from 31 and on, as I turn 31 and on, I want to have this mindset that June 23rd is my new year. Like that is the start of a new year. So. Uh, hopefully as I progress the goal is to be all the energy because uh, I mentioned about this in the uh, other video of the hope deferred video I gave I in the past I've given so much energy to the new year just because I love um I love the new year I love calendars I love planners that's that's me and I want to now switch that energy and give it all to June 23rd like lavish it right just feel very this is a new year so for this new uh new year june 23rd happy birthday um i am going to be at the beach i love the water i love the water i love the water um i'm not necessarily like i gotta be at the beach type of girl but this year i want it to be at the beach so i'm gonna be at the beach doing nothing and I'm super excited. Uh, what else do I want to say? I think that it's important. Oh, okay, hold on. I'm going to come back. I'm going to do like a quick um, things about me. I actually think I have a list. I don't think it's complete, but I'm going to do some things about me. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, you guys. I'm back. I had a um, facts about me on my phone. And um it's actually I think I had this when I created this when I was turning 30 and I never posted anything I never did a video I was gonna do like a little video like facts about me every day and this has never happened and it, this list is actually incomplete I only have 
um, to 16. <laughs> I don't have, and I just added two. So yeah, it's to 16. It's not to 30 and it's not even to 31. I'm not going to bore y'all by going past this 16, but I also see that this was created when a time where I, um, was, uh, not all the way completely knowledgeable. That's not what I'm trying to say, but I want to tell y'all all my business. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> facts about me. Number one, I am a big kid. Um, I love watching, uh, you know, kiddish movies, and it is not, especially at my church, it is not abnormal to see me leave a group of adults and go find where the teenagers at to be super silly with them. Like, that's not abnormal whatsoever, which is why kids and teens love me so much because I'm a big kid, okay? Number two, I love arts. I love the arts, dance, music, poetry, theater, museums, painting, literature, all of that. And then when you put black in front of any of those, we see each other, okay? Um, I am a mixture of blunt, nonchalant, no nonsense, as well as compassionate, kind, kind-hearted, friendly. I'm, I am that, okay? She is me, I am that. Um, with a little other stuff. Anyways, I am temperamental and capricious, okay? Your girl is moody at times. Moody. Sometimes it's because of the prophetic. I, I be thinking, it's me that's having a mood swing because I'm just sensing what's in the atmosphere and that's actually something I still haven't developed in or mastered. Um, but then sometimes it's literally just me that I'm just, I'm not in the mood. Like, I'm not in the mood. I'm just not in the mood. And this is where upfront comes in because I'm very blunt. Hey, my friends be like, hey, I called you. Yeah, I saw your call. I saw your call or I'll text you. I, you. I'll let your call come through. Miss the call and I'll text you. Hey, I don't feel like talking. And there's nothing wrong with me. I am a-okay. I just don't feel like talking. Okay? It's not true. But that's me. Alrighty. Um, I always try to expand my vocabulary. That's not um abnormal. I always try to expand my vocabulary. You guys know that probably by watching this channel. Um sometimes I'll randomly like um download a vocabulary app on my phone. Um if you say a word in front of me that I don't know, either I'm just gonna be like, what that mean? Or I'm going to remember it in my mind and Google it in your face or when I get back to wherever. Um, but that's with everything. Like if my pastor is up there and she mentions a story in the Bible that I'm not familiar with, we're just rare, but it does happen still. And I'll be like, mm, I, I don't know that story. Or I know that's how that story went. I thought it went another way. Maybe I'm going to pull up the scriptures right in your face and do my own Bible study while you preaching, okay? Because I, I like to know information. I like, I love information, love just researching, love researching. Um, I'm adventurous and a bit spontaneous. Keep me on my toes, keep me on my toes, okay? Um, stay on my toes anyways, because that's just me. I have always been the friend, like in my friend groups and different pockets of friends, I'm always known as the person that was gonna do something crazy, like, I literally had a friend, none of her other friends are willing to do this. And she was like, hey, you'll jump out of a plane with me? Girl, yes. What are we signing up at? <laughs> what are we jumping out of the plane at? Because I'm ready. I'm that friend. So, girl, you didn't say none to me. All right. So, um, the next thing is I'm a private person. I'm a very private person, but that pulpit will get you to air it out all your business. Sometimes... I air out all my business here on this pulpit, YouTube. I don't think the saints realize. That's why y'all need a YouTube channel. If you know that God has called you to teach, get in the pulpit. YouTube is a pulpit, okay? That's for somebody. Anyways, um, I love to dance. And no, I'm not just talking about liturg liturgical, praise, dance, whatever y'all want to call it. I'm not talking about it, okay? I'm talking about... Contemporary, African, twerking, hello, 
<laughs> Ugh, they don't call it dancing in the rain for nothing. I didn't name the ministry name. I'm just kidding, y'all. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I really like to dance. That so I will put on a whole dance show at the age I'm at now. Today. I will put on a whole dance show. There are times where I literally just get my iPad and just play some music. And baby, I'm dancing. You hear me? Dancing in my room. Dancing. That's one thing that my husband and my kids are going to have to get used to, baby. Hello? I'm I'm twerking. I'm putting on a routine. I'm dancing. It's a show. It's it's something to see now. It's something to see. It'd be like, Pastor? That, it's something to see. It's something to see. Okay. Um, The two most attractive intangible characteristics in a person is my, uh, in my opinion, is humility and wisdom. Yeah, humility and wisdom are always like just so attractive to me. Somebody that's humble? Yes, please. Somebody that's wise? Yes, please. And I think if I can even add onto that, um, maybe, what do I want to say? Discerning? I think discerning is pretty, that's pretty sexy. That's so Christ-like. <laughs> Wisdom, humility, and discerning is what you find attractive. Girl, find you somebody that's saved, clearly, because. Alrighty, my nickname is Stellar. This is like a, a nickname that was given, but also like I encompassed it even more. Like I took it over when... Okay, so a friend gave me the name Stellar, and um, it came from making up, like, we were, like, just making up line names. This is point in time when I wanted to be a part of a Greek organization. Do not be a part of the Greek organization. They are not of God. There are so many people that can tell you about that. I have my own revelation. I would love to talk more about it, but I don't know if that's necessarily got something God wants me to talk about. But anyways... So we were just talking and she was like, oh, da 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 stellar. And I'm like, yeah, I like that. Like it was giving and it lined, like it connected so much because when I was at the age, maybe 10, nine, at my previous church that I was going to before I met now, uh, when my, the pastor that was married at the, he was married at the time and that wife, she when I dance, she would be like, oh, you're such a star. Like, you're such a star. And so stellar is like star constellations, all that stuff that connects with me. I love the moon. I love looking at the stars. So when my friend said that, that was like, stellar, yes, stellar, stellar, stellar. Okay, so furthermore, it connected more that I love stellar because in college, that's when my love for the book of Esther really began to shine. And so Esther in the Bible her real name, um, Manessa, means star, like, or, or something like that, okay? So, it was just, like, everything was just confirming, Stella, 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 and so, baby, when I tell you everything is Stella around here, everything is Stella around here, so that is a nickname that I've given myself, but most people just call me Bree, my daddy calls me Bree Bree. My grandma calls me Snoop. I forget sometimes. She doesn't call me Snoop as much as she used to. I forget even why she called me Snoop. When she tells me, when I ask her, it don't make sense. So, anyways, um, let's see. Uh, I'm on number 11. I never numbered these. I never called out the numbers. I'm sorry. I'm on number 11. Uh, it says, I love dreams. I do. I love dreams. That's one gift I definitely have invested in. Um, number 12. My two favorite people in the Bible. I'm sure you guys probably can guess it by now because I talk about them so much. Esther and Daniel. Um, Daniel, because of his humility, wisdom, he is a dream interpreter. And he was a seer prophet, which I am as well. And I love Esther because pretty much the same reason. Humble. I, that's what the vibe I get from Esther. Humble, wise. Her real name means star and st or stellar. Um, 13, I love to read. I love to read, read, read. Um, this year, usually each year I have like a list of like books that I want to read or each year I have like a goal. I want to read like 15 books and usually I meet the goal and most times I exceed the goal. This year, there was no book goal at all. Like no book goal whatsoever. I just came in the year. You know what? That's probably because I was so hope deferred. I never thought about it that to now. But anyways, God has so many 
read this book. So this is the book I'm currently reading. I literally just read chapter one um, a few days ago, and it's called Deliverance from Demonic Covenants and Curses by Reverend James A. Solomon. So that's a pretty good book. It's really good um, so far. And number 14, I am called to leaders. I've always found leaders. Um, I've always been helpful to leaders. I'm called to leaders. Alrighty, my husband is going to be a leader. Amen. All right, number 15, communications. Oh, I got a degree in communications. I currently work for a very, very well-known hotel uh, company chain. And my current role is in the communications field. And I do a lot of fun things. Honestly, everything that I do for my church, plus a little bit more, I do in my current role. So it's really fun and easy. And challenging at times, but I like it a lot. Um, and number 16, I'm going to end it off with something very random. That's so funny. But anyways, uh, I say this so funny because I just saw the number 1133, which is 2-2. Two, two. And number 16 is I want to have twins. <laughs> That's one of the things. So I want to have three to four children. And one of them sits coming in as twins. Okay, this is definitely... A desire from God this is actually kind of fresh but like fresh like fresh me ever saying this I don't think I've ever said this but it's been on my mind for a, a little hot second but I want to have twins so my grandma who is 72 years old um she is a twin us uh, um she is a I don't know if they're fraternal but it's um her and her sister um, but yes, so twins run in my family and I know this is a desire from God y'all because like it's been brewing, but it's kind of random at the same time. So I'm like, okay, Lord, you to put this desire here. Cause why all of a sudden I'm talking heavy about twins. So I don't necessarily care if it is boy twins, girl twins, if they are boy or girl boy, you know what I mean? Like, I don't care. I just, I know I'm going to be birthing twins and I not excited for the process like the birthing actual birthing because I want a water birth I want I do not want to do epidural whatsoever but like how is that gonna happen with twins like huh what let's let's not talk about that but that's my list that's it this video is actually longer than I expected anyways I'm gonna go to the beach by the time y'all see this video it's gonna be in the comments tell me happy new year in the comments we're not even gonna say happy birthday say happy new year if you want to say happy birthday say happy new year to me okay because it's a new year i just almost started to say it's a new season it's a new day come on it's a new era it's a new season it's a new day it's a new era yes so that's it Thank y'all for tuning in to this unique video from Life with Brianka. But sometimes you gotta be a little silly sometimes. So that's it. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Catch you next video. Bye.